I'm gonna give you. There. I'm gonna give you a pro tip. Ready? Okay. Here's yeah. Yeah. Piece. Piece of life advice. Ready? Oh yeah, please. The source of all conflict. Okay. Between yeah. two uh, parties, right? In a relationship of okay. any kind, friendship, any kind, okay, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Assuming that it's like a, a a a consensual relationship, and that like you're not forced to be like near that person. Okay. Right? Okay. With yeah. Them, right. The source of all conflict in this situation is unmet expectations. Mm -hmm. Unmet why, expectations is like yes. the core problem of all relationships. Well, it's the source, not the necessarily source. the core. Okay. Oh, okay. But the point is having prop. That's why having proper communication in a relationship is actually one of the most important things about a relationship is communication. Because if you communicate your expectations with people, they can't be surprised when you feel a certain way because you've communicated it to them. So let's say, what you know, like the classic, like, Valentine uh, Puffy? do these pants make Absolutely. me look fat? Do I just be honest? What is that person expecting? Are they expecting an honest answer? Well, what, or I don't know. Are they, are they expecting just you to say something that makes them feel better? If, if they're expecting an honest answer, right? And you know then that, then be honest. If they're not expecting an honest answer and they're just expecting you to say something that makes them feel good, then, hey, you, if you know that, then you can go, oh, I know they just want me to say something that makes them feel good and then go ahead and compliment them. You feel me? The point is, if you know what their expectations are. But what if boom. I don't know the expectations though? Like it's like all of a sudden out the, of the yeah, then There you go, then you're not communicating enough. Communicate more, <laughs> okay, foolish. We're really gonna meme it the muffin head. Though, to be able no, to communicate it's, it's that not. well. To where every Again, time they ask a question, I'm prepared to know the answer I should well, well, get. It's, you're thinking, you're think, it's not that deep. Think about it like this. Here's an example, right? If you leave laundry on the floor and the person you're with gets mad at you for that, right? Okay. They should obviously communicate their expectations to you that they want to live in a house where people clean up after themselves, right? Okay. And the point is communicating that allows you to know what their expectations are. That way, when you're not holding it up, you you can't just be like, oh, well, I didn't know that you didn't want me to leave my clothes like laying right here. Right. It, the point I'm saying is you need to communicate, right, with the person you're with to set your expectations for things in the relationship. So, communication. Communication is the most important, is one of the most important things. How do you tell your significant other that they're terrible at cooking? Just tell them straight up. Again, like, what, what are their expectations? Oh my I would, goodness. I would say that in a relationship, people should be honest with each other. So I think- Yeah, yeah, yeah but how would, you deli how, would you, how would you deliver that message? Cause you don't want to hurt the person's say, feelings. I'd say that, okay, then that's, oh, that's easy. Oh my goodness, honey, look. Oh my goodness, free cooking lessons. They just sent us vouchers for free cooking lessons in the mail. Let's let's go take these classes together. This sounds like a lot of fun. Come on, we can both learn how to cook. We can do a couples class together. Boom. There, right there off the bat, they don't feel like you're singling them out. You get to spend time together doing something fun. It's a win-win. <laughs> I feel uh, like I feel kind of it was some, you know, it's got a big brain there. So yeah. I feel like terrible at cooking my second I feel like somebody would know. What okay, what if you what if you think your your partner's not as attractive anymore? Would you be like, oh my god, free <laughs> free Botox? No. For no, you? Listen. Like the first thing everybody who gets in a relationship <laughs> needs to remember is this. No, remember this is that physical attractiveness, everybody is guaranteed on to be on the downward slope of that okay at some point everybody's gonna be really old and no one's gonna look great when they're super duper old even so. if they're not quote unquote beautiful by societal standards what'll happen is their personality will overflow and you'll start to see their personality on the outside and they'll look physically beautiful to you you follow me that was beautiful bad that's that's the reality of it because remember physical attractiveness and physical appearance appearance fade okay just keep that in mind that's the road that every human is on listen if if you're looking for a long-term relationship and someone asks what do you really like about the person and the first thing that comes out of your mouth is a physical characteristic odds are you're not in that for a long-term relationship right because at the end of the day 
that is going to be something like like that's not going to be something that is going to last like forever because again physical characteristics fade over time but like when you're trying to set your friend up on a date with somebody and you're like well tell me about them and you're like they have a good personality to like oh so so oh mm. i see no you you can say stuff like no well they oh i really love how and then you can They're describe something about oh, them yeah, there's yeah. so much there's so much fun to be around is uh -huh. something you can say Literally, we spend so much time. The other day, we watched this this movie, and he made me laugh with like their commentary. It would be something you could say, right? Or th that's just an example. You feel me? Like anyway, the point is. So, what do you love most about Skeppy? I think Skeppy is a very awesome friend. He gives good advice. Um, he's he's very. Uh, funny when we record videos, they're very hilarious. You didn't at least once compliment his dumb truck, so that you don't love him as yeah. a friend then. <laughs>